Okay, so you've probably heard a lot of people talking about new AI tools that can be used to pinpoint a location from a photograph. And there's been a lot of sensational reporting about the privacy implications of this. Lots of people have been tagging me on videos where this is discussed and asking for my opinion. So I'm going to tell you what I think, and I'm also going to test one of these tools to see what kind of results I get. Before I get started, I just want to say that I think there's incredibly interesting work happening in this area, and I have nothing but respect for the people who work on these tools. It is powerful and impressive stuff. Also, I'm just sharing my anecdotal experience, opinions, and observations, and I don't think you should draw any definitive conclusions from this. I'm just one guy saying stuff on the internet. Okay, so I decided to try a tool called GeoSpy AI and see how it would do if I gave it stills from videos that I have recently located. I'm going to show you that in just a minute, but I want you to consider this. When you watch my videos, you know that I try to be very, very precise about the location, usually within a few feet or under a meter. How far off would I have to be before you would say that I had failed? 100 feet? 500 feet? A mile? Whatever your answer is, keep that in mind as I go through this next part. Okay, so I started with the video that I just did yesterday. I gave GeoSpy a still from this video that showed the church, because I thought that might be something that it could use to help find this place. And it very quickly reported that this was in Salem, Massachusetts, and identified a specific church at an exact address. Sadly, that was a bit off the mark. This is actually in Waterbury, Connecticut. That's like 130 miles or 208 kilometers away from where the AI thought it was. So I tried another recent location, that one that I did on that highway in Arizona. I made sure to give the tool a still that included the mountains that we can see in the video. That's four peaks, and that's a natural landmark that helped me to find this place. And GeoSpy did a little bit better with this one. It correctly identified this as Arizona, but it failed to recognize four peaks and thought this was in Tucson. So again, off the mark by about 104 miles or 168 kilometers. I decided to give it one more. So I showed it a still from the video that I got from Leki in Lagos, Nigeria. And guys, this time it did a much better job. It correctly identified that this was in a gated community in Leki, and it gave an estimate for exactly where it thought it was. And that estimate was only off by about 5 miles or 8 kilometers. So that's pretty close. Okay, so what does this tell us? I don't know, maybe nothing. This is anecdotal. I will say, though, I did not cherry-pick these locations to try to persuade you to think one way or the other about these tools. These are just three locations that I picked that I thought might be good tests. If I had picked different locations, maybe the tool would have been much more accurate. Or maybe it would have failed miserably. I don't know. There are other AI tools out there, of course, and a lot of the reporting has been about something called Pigeon. But as far as I know, that's not a tool that's publicly available. I think it was the subject of an academic paper that was written. So I haven't tested that. But the reporting that I saw says that Pigeon guesses within 16 miles or 25 kilometers of the actual location about 40% of the time. But I guess that means that 60% of the time it's off by more than that. Guys, these tools are impressive and they're getting better all the time. In fact, I would bet that in 6 to 12 months from now, they'll be leaps and bounds ahead of where they are now. So as always, I'd suggest you be circumspect about what you post online, but also be wary of any clickbait headlines that try to overstate the risks to your privacy. Stay safe, guys.